this is Elias walking you through your confrontational visual field exam. Uh, you need to understand that this is an extension of the projection of light test that we had done in the visual equity exam. Also, this is a confrontational visual field exam. So, we, I am basically uh, comparing the visual field of the patient with my visual field. And I will consider my visual field, whatever it is, to be normal and standard. Therefore, it is called a confrontational visual field. So, the way that we have to do this is, <laughs> The comfortable distance from Tefan and I have to be at the same eye level. So if you see now, I'm not at the same eye level as Tefan. So I'm going to adjust my chair so that I'm exactly at the same eye level as Tefan. And then to cover his left eye with the palm of his hand. And I'm going to cover my corresponding eye, which is the right eye, with the palm of my hand. And then I'm going to move my hands in a distance which is half of the distance between Irfan and myself. So I will show him fingers and ask him how many there. Two. How many fingers? One. How many fingers? One. How many fingers? Two. Good. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other eye. So I'm going to ask him to cover his right eye with the palm of his hand. And I'm going to cover my left eye, which is the corresponding eye, with the palm of my hand. And I'm going to repeat this test. How many fingers? Two. How many fingers? One. How many fingers? One. How many fingers? One. So this is how it's done, but imagine that uh, his vision is not counting finger and is just perception of light. Then I'm going to replace my fingers with the torch light exactly as was done in the visual equity. Ask him to cover his left eye and I'm going to cover my right eye and then I'm going to show him the light from the supratemporal side, do you see the light? Yes. 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 And then I'm going to repeat it in the left eye. So he covers his right eye. I cover my left eye. And do you see the light? Yes. Excellent. This shows that his visual field is compatible to mine. Now let's assume that the visual field is not compatible to mine. And uh, I'll do the test exactly the same way. So he will cover his left eye, I cover my right eye, and I ask him to tell me how many fingers there are. Do you see these fingers? No. I'm going to bring it slightly closer. Do you see these fingers now? No. Bringing it closer, do you see these fingers? Yes. So he sees them right in the red space. I'm going to repeat it in, in the infratemporal space. Do you see those fingers? No. Do you see those fingers? No. Do you see those fingers? Yes. Okay. I'm going to repeat the same test on the other eye. And he's going to cover his right eye and he's covering my left eye. Do you see those fingers? No. Do you see those fingers? Yes. And do you see those fingers? No. Do you see those fingers? No. Do you see those fingers? Yes. Do you see those fingers? Yes. Do you see those fingers? Yes. Both his eyes don't have temporal field and that's what we've seen. And I'm going to record it and run Computational visual field, create these box with two fields and shade the box which is where he cannot see. Now keep in mind this is a logical visual field exam. It is not a neurological visual field exam. Usually neurological visual field exams are the ones which are dynamic and not static. So if I was to do the neurological visual field exam, I would have been doing exactly the same covering his eye, but rather than just showing him a static point, I would be bringing my finger from the extreme periphery, and he is going to tell me when he can see it. Yes. Similarly, so the other field. Yes. Yes. Logical visual field exam is a dynamic visual field exam, whereas the logical visual field exam is a static visual field exam. Thank you.